Right, so for my 16th birthday, I went to London. And I saw quite a bit of that. I saw the Leak Street Tunnel, uh, the Natural Gal National Gallery, or is it Nat the National Gallery, sorry. But one, what I want to talk about today is Tate Modern. Leak Street Tunnel consisted of spray-painted works of art. The National Gallery contained classical pieces and the Tate Modern contained modern art. And let me tell you, I love Tate Modern art because, so I'm eating an apple at the moment, because, not because the art is good, but rather the opposite. Because it just looks like a, someone gave a nutter an art studio. Right, let's just skim through the good ones. This optical illusion one looks pretty nice. I like the colours on it. Uh, next one is pretty good as well. It's got like machinarium vibes to it. Um, the next one is all right, I'd say. But uh, the last one is my favourite. We'll see that in a bit. There we go. It's got like a polygonal look to it. And um, well, yeah, those are pretty much all the good ones. Now let's move on to the bad ones. Now the whole point of modern art is that you can do anything you want. Yeah, anything. You can even make a flag. Like, what is this? This doesn't look like art. This looks like a 1700s board game. Can it get more basic? Yeah. How about a squared sliding puzzle? Well, it looks like a chopped up bed sheet. Now, the next one isn't as bad. If anything, it looks pretty good. It looks like Jazz Punk had the glitch in the Matrix. But it just looks like the artist took, was taking too long to finish the background and just thought, oh, screw it, and published it unfinished. This next one's actually pretty cool, albeit a bit weird. It's a bunch of radios stacked onto each other. And the radios do still make noises. So it's pretty cool, but I'm just wondering, <laughs> who thought of that? It looks like R2-D2's giantess. And now from the weirdly wonderful to just childish cars <laughs> cars okay there were two of these in the room one version had the cars parked and the other version is this i think it's supposed to represent uh, lawful and chaos but, but come on I, I did this i did something like this when i was six if you want to show law and chaos just using the ligament chart also try and guess what my favorite car is in this picture i'll give you five seconds okay it's the white one I mean, he's shagging two cars. There's no way that the, the artist did that unintentionally. He knew what he was doing. The next thing was just black and green. I didn't know what it was. It looked like a gothic rock album cover. I couldn't get a good picture of it because there was windows in the room that were open and it was daytime. So I couldn't really get a good picture. He also had videos in Tate Modern and it was around this time where I saw like a movie style sort of thing. It was basically just text over a white background with intense jazz music playing. I think it tried to have like a story thing to it. Something about a guy taking a gun to him and shooting it. I can't really remember, but points for the jazz music. I'm more of a jazz fusion guy, but it still gets my seal of approval. Okay, now back to the bad stuff. Never mind, take me back. Sorry, but what the hell is this? Is this Tangled? It's like a bleeding Rapunzel. It looks like Split Ends from Trapped Ever After decided to get a haircut and put it on display. How is this in an art gallery? Jeez, and I thought the triangle one looked unfinished. This looks like the point of view of someone taking acid and going to church. All right, now let me give you the top three worst paintings I saw at this place. Here's number three. It looks like a brain damaged jigsaw puzzle. Maybe this is the worst one, but I don't know. Take a look at the other two. This looks like Donald Trump was drawn by a schizo. What is this? Th this isn't like expressive. This is just a waste of hair combs. All right, here's number one. Let's just get this out of the way because I want to be done with this now. What is this? It looks like bird slurry mixed with gangrene. Right, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you for watching up to the end. If you liked it, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notifications button to uh, be updated to any new uploads. Thank you for watching, I'll see you later.